Hello students, you are getting a computer to use for school this year, which is very exciting, but also means that you have a lot of responsibility. So I want to talk to you about what to do and what not to do with your new computer. We can make a pretty long list of the things that you should not do with your computer. You know, don't drop it, don't put heavy things on it, don't scratch your name into it, don't put stickers on it, don't throw it. Don't leave it where your baby brother or sister could get to it. We could keep going on and on and on about all kinds of things you shouldn't do with your computer. But here's what you really need to know. You just need to always be responsible with your computer. That means that you protect it. You put it in safe places. You make sure it's locked up anytime that you're not using it. You keep it in a bag when you're out in the rain. Those kind of things, everything you can think of to keep your computer safe and protected. You need to be responsible with your computer in other ways as well. You should never give out your username and password. Because if you do, somebody could get on your computer under your name and do something that could get you in trouble. So always keep those secret and private and use them for your schoolwork, but don't give those inf that information out to anybody else. For the same reason, you should always log off of your accounts. If you leave accounts logged in, then somebody could get on your computer and do something that you could be held responsible for. You need to use your computer appropriately. That means if you shouldn't do it at school, you shouldn't do it at home on your computer either. And finally, don't eat or drink around your computer. I know at home that that's going to be very tempting for you to do, but if you have um, food or drink near your computer, there's the possibility that you could have an accident that ruins your computer. If that does happen, you'll need to take it to the office or the student support center. We'll talk more about that in a minute, but you need to try your very best to make sure that it doesn't happen to begin with, to prevent that. B is bring it with you to school every day. Um, it is important that you bring your computer with you every day. Even if you think you're not going to use it, bring it with you to school every day anyway. Your teachers will be expecting you to have it, and you never know when a teacher is going to try something new um, that they'll expect you to use your computer for. So you need to make some good habits. At home, you need to put everything that needs to go to school in one place. You know, put your computer with your backpack, your shoes, your jacket, your lunchbox, things that you're not going to walk out the door without. That way you'll make sure that you don't forget to bring it with you when you come to school. C is to keep your computer charged every night. You want to just make a habit of plugging it in before you go to bed. So maybe put your charger near where you keep your stuff all together that you're going to take to school and put your computer with that, plug it in, um, right before you go to bed. Just make it part of your bedtime routine. You brush your teeth, you get you know, changed for bed, and you plug in your computer. We do not want you to bring your charger to school with you um, because that would be way too many cords and there's a chance that it could get lost or mixed up with someone else's. So there will be emergency charging stations in the office and each teacher has a power cord, but it's very important that your computer comes to school charged fully every day or we will have some issues with people not being able to charge their computers. All right, I know all the computers look exactly the same. Um, so here are some ways you can make your computer easily identifiable. First of all, on the bottom of the computer is a number that has been assigned to you and your username, okay? But that would be still something you'd have to turn it over and you'd have to read and it may wear off over time. So here are some things you could do. You could attach luggage tags or keychains to the handle of your computer or to the little cord that holds the stylus on. That would be okay because those will not damage the computer in any way and can be easily removed. What is not okay is for you to put any form of sticker on your computer or any form of marker. You cannot put a, an attachable case on it Anything that has the potential to damage the surface of the computer is not allowed. We're almost done here, but uh, we've had a lot of people who think we're just a little bit crazy because we're giving kids computers. 
Uh, but we know that you can be very responsible with technology, and we are just asking you to prove how responsible that you can be so that a year from now, people who are saying this are just shocked at how great care you've taken of these computers and how um, you've kept them in good working order. If something is wrong with your computer, if it's not working properly or becomes damaged in some way or you have some sort of accident with it, uh, you just need to tell your teacher. We know that accidents are going to happen and as long as it's truly just an accident, there's no big consequences that will fall on you. Tell your teacher that your computer is not working and then it's going to need to go either to the office if you're at an elementary school or the student support center if you're at the junior senior high school at Riverton Park. So that's what you need to do with your computer if it's not working or if it's damaged and they will take care of uh, whatever needs to be done to get it fixed. Again, please follow these ABCs and be responsible with your computer. Bring it with you to school every day and make sure it's always fully charged.